She'd never walk, she'd never talk. She'd be in a wheelchair, and that, that was what we had to accept. People than ever are exploring the health benefits of cannabis. The use for CBD oil, for example, is scientifically proven to be beneficial for mankind. In this study, we treated children with Drave syndrome, which is a very serious genetic form of epilepsy. Second day, we knew that she was getting the actual drug. She went seizure free, like completely seizure free, for two months which um, has never happened. The message is that cannabidiol does work in reducing convulsive seizures in children with Dravet syndrome. My daughter's life was completely and utterly overtaken and controlled by seizures. They told us that we'd have to look into residential care for my daughter in the future and that that was what we had to accept. Since we started this medication, everything is improving. There's people out there that are suffering needlessly that can get access to medicinal cannabis to help them. But how does one get access to something so many are talking about but not know where to get? Cannabis is still illegal in most countries. <laughs> Countries are responding by starting government-controlled medicinal cannabis programs by licensing big companies like Tilray in Canada. We were the first to export in the EU, the first to export in New uh, Australia, and the first to export in South America. Or Pharmacilo, the main contractor in Colombia, whose directors include former executives from Philip Morris and Bayer. Enter Pharmacielo. Our mission, to become the world's leading supplier of naturally grown and processed, standardized medicinal-grade cannabis oil extracts and related products. Meanwhile, renowned activists like Canadian Jody and Mark Emery are being harassed by law enforcement and their dispensaries closed. We are being forced to lose it all while the drug squad shuts down many peaceful people's businesses. Legalization is coming and it's because of people like us. And for us to face these incredibly unjust and harsh penalties and punishments, it's so wrong. And we're not even convicted of anything. In Germany, the prices of medicinal cannabis doubled since they started their own cannabis program last year. Because of that, well-known MD, Franjo Grotenherman, went on a hunger strike to confront the government with a broken promise. They promised to keep the price of medicinal cannabis affordable. A lonesome cry in the dark. Dieser kurze Hungerstreik ist für mich ein Ausdruck von Solidarität mit den Patienten, die weiter leiden müssen. Ich leide einfach ein Stückchen mit. Therefore, you should have the right to grow your own cannabis if you want to. Reality is harsh and totally opposite. The overall war on small growers is exploding. In the Netherlands, a man is prosecuted for having five cannabis plants in his garden. <laughs> a successful businessman, a philanthropist, and no criminal record. He wants to help others making cannabis oil. I think that he will be uh, acquitted from all charges. But he is not acquitted. He is found guilty. Now, he is no longer able to run his regular business, losing millions and faith in society. It's destroying a man's life. In Belgium, the first cannabis social club is shut down. 
club members were tailed, homes bugged, phones tapped, GPS traced for more than one year. Ze weten waar we zitten, ze kunnen ons makkelijk in de gaten houden. Als ze zouden willen, zouden ze ook die kweekplaatsen kunnen vinden. With excessive force, the Belgian police attacked the club, raiding 18 homes and making three arrests. Among them is Mano Moreau, a famous Belgian stand-up performer. Now, I wanted to stay a kid forever, so I sold my soul to Santa. <laughs> All stand accused of dealing in cannabis and money laundering as members of a criminal organization. Most members need cannabis as a medicine. Members were finally released after two weeks imprisonment. <laughs> the third is still behind bars. The criminal courts are tied up because of the witch hunt on cannabis growers. Other cases like theft, rape, murder, white collar crime are delayed or dropped because of this. Er liggen een aantal grote zaken op de plank die afgedaan moeten worden. En um, als er dan nog meer bij komen, wordt dat een probleem, ja. Je kunt ook zeggen, misschien zou je de retail meer moeten reguleren, zodat jullie niet zoveel zaken krijgen. <laughs> ja, daar kan ik eigenlijk niet echt iets over zeggen, omdat dat een politiek onderwerp is. En dat is iets um, wat de wetgever moet regelen. Maar jullie zien wel dat er heel veel van dat soort zaken bij jullie terechtkomen. Dat klopt, ze leggen beslag op onze tijd. Je kunt maar één zaak tegelijk behandelen. The witch hunt on cannabis clogs up our legal system. The real criminals have the last laugh. <laughs> Your source of cannabis news.